What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Monday to you guys. Today, guys, I am going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the gazebo that I have versus the Easy Up Camping Cube. I decided that after that heavy rainstorm and that windy, windy day that I wanted to see which one of these would have held out better under those conditions. Also, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I learned about the Easy Up Camping Cube. I've had it now for a week. I've slept in it for seven days now, seven nights, and I'm ready to share my thoughts with you guys. Okay, let's start with the size of each of the tents. As you guys can see, there is no comparison to the size. The Easy Up Camping Cube is much larger than the Gazelle Tent. Now let's take a look inside of each of the tents. I've shown you guys the inside of each of these, but for the reference of this video, as you can see, there are plenty of room and space in this uh, Easy Up Camping Cube. I have my bed, a nice size table with all my cooking things on it, as well as two refrigerators, water, and over here in that corner, I have a chair as well. Now moving on to the gazelle tent. As you can see, it is much smaller in size, a whole lot less space. Next up is the flooring of each of these uh, tents. One of the things that I like best about the Easy uh, Up Camping Cube is that, oh, my eyes are watering, is that the floor is incorporated with the entire tent. Whereas the gazebo, the gazelle tent has no floor in it. And the campground that I'm at now, you know, when it rains, even if you put a top or anything down, it's going to be so muddy underneath there uh, after it's all said and done. So I like the fact that the Easy Up has the floor incorporated, but the Gazelle tent does not. Now I'm going to turn my attention to the Easy Up uh, camping cube for a few minutes. One of the things that there are a couple of things that I did not like about this easy up cube that i learned through the week that i've had it and i'm going to take you guys through some of those things okay one of the things that i really do not like about this easy up camping cube is that it only has one strap right there that holds this entire side up and if you can see it's drooping right here on each of these ends right here if they had another one of these straps right here, one right here, and then another one right here, it would help pull this tent up and this whole side will be up like this side, the middle of it. They just have one strap on each side in the middle of each corner and and the inside of it and then when you get in on the inside of it you will see that it sags see how the middle is up up and look at this section right here near the door it sags all they needed to do is put two more extra straps on each of these sides and what that does by not having those two extra straps, it makes it more difficult to get this in a complete square or cube. And what you end up doing is these straps right here, these Velcros, the three Velcros, you have to almost have this in a perfect cube 
for everything to work out correctly. The other thing I didn't like is these straps right here. I was like, okay, which bar do they go on to try to make this a uh, perfect cube? It took a lot of trial and error just to get this the way that I have it now. Another suggestion that I would like to have seen is that this roof vent up top, I would love to have seen it have a zipper covering all the way around it. Because just in case your canopy fails on a rainy day, all that rain is, will be able to come through this ventilation that they have up here. It would be nice if you had the uh, choice to unzipping it and then if it happens to rain hard and your canopy fails and water start coming in <laughs> through there, you have the option of closing it up. Now, as you guys know, it rained hard uh, the day before yesterday and it was so windy outside. And I have to say, it was a little uncomfortable being inside of the easy uh, easy up camping cube during that time the walls were so going in and out can you imagine being in here and all four of the walls are just from the wind is just doing this i mean it looked like some kind of ghostbuster scene going on in there and it made it very uncomfortable for me to be in there i don't know why i didn't just get up and go in my van during that time, but I guess I was worried that the tent was gonna blow away or something. <laughs> Either way, I probably would not have slept well that entire night anyway. But that is something that I did not like about that. I'm glad that the weather was the way it is because it let me know how well or how not well this Easy Up would do in that type of uh, weather conditions. Now, I really think that if I was in this gazelle tent here, it would have done much, much better with that type of weather. I was in this uh, gazelle tent in PA once, and it was raining so, so hard. Remember that? And the canopy, I had to go out and push the water up on one side, but that's because one of the main bars on the canopy is broken. So it doesn't have that support on that side. So that's why that happened. It wasn't because the canopy failed. I have a malfunction in that canopy and I'm ordering a new canopy anyway. But I technically think that this gazelle tent has a much stronger structure. I mean, these walls right here are much, much stronger because they have these crossbars right here that goes all the way across. So if I had some things in there that help weigh it down, I don't think that this would have been nowhere near as uncomfortable to be in as the Easy Up was. So weather-wise, I definitely believe that the gazelle tent would have fared better. Now during that winter, that that wind that wind storm, I would say, and the rainstorm, this uh, easy up, it, it was shifting. The wind was moving it off the, its foundation, so to speak, and the floor inside was shifting. So the floor developed a nice crease in it because the wind was blowing it a little bit. Yes, I did not have it staked down. That probably was my biggest mistake. And honestly, I think if I had, I mean, it didn't blow away. I mean, it was just shifting a little bit. And if I had it staked down, that still wouldn't have done anything as far as the way that these walls were moving in and out. That I still would have gotten that. Uh, having it staked down would have, yes, helped it to not move as much or shift as much, but it still, again, would not have done anything to the way that these walls were moving in and out. Now, one of the things that I like best about this uh, gazelle tent is that it's one piece. It's one piece. 
the Easy Up needs the canopy. It needs a second piece in order for it to work, which means it's more work for you to have to set it up and take it down. Whereas the Gazelle, the gazelle I can just push the, push the walls in, bam, bam, clean it off, fold it up, put it back in the case. Now, I'm sitting up here contemplating which of these two units do I want to keep. Do I want to pack up this easy up and clean it off and send it back? Or do I want to keep the gazelle tent and use that in my tent, uh, my future tent reservations and stuff? So I want to go now, I want to check out the spacing inside of the gazelle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a couple of things out of the easy up and put in the gazelle and see if the spacey would allow me to sleep inside of the gazelle as a tent. Okay, as you guys can see, I put my bed, my air mattress inside of the gazelle tent. Now my concern was, will I be able to fit this bed in here as well as my table? And I think that I would be able to put my table in here on this opposite side of the wall right there i will be able to put my two refrigerators underneath the table and then along that side right there i can put my power stations and then on this side right here in this corner i will be able to put my one chair and it seems like everything will fit in here And that was my concern when I started thinking about whether I should keep the Easy Up Camping Cube or go along or keep my Gazelle. Now, once again, one of the downfalls of the Gazelle tent is that it doesn't have a floor, but I can buy some like a uh, Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 cent tree uh, cheap tablecloths. They have these large black tablecloths. I can buy a couple of those, put down on the floor here, and it will help everything to stay clean. And once I'm done, I can pull up those tablecloths. And if I need to throw them away and replace them after the camping stay, I will. But that is one solution that I can I can lay down those tablecloths and then I can lay down my, my carpet over top of that. So where there's a will, there's a way. Did I say that right? Where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a way, there's a will. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Try saying that really fast. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to share or the, between the differences between these uh, two tents. The Easy Up Camping Cube versus the Gazelle Tent. Um, space wise, height wise, the Easy Up is the winner for me. Um, the fact, again, that the Easy Up has the floor already incorporated in it is the plus. But in terms of the ease, the ease of putting up and taking down both of these uh, tents, definitely the gazelle tent is much, much easier to take down and put up. Again, the easy up requires a canopy in order for it to work. And I can actually use the canopy as a second uh, shield of being out shelter as being outside. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to go ahead and keep the, gaz uh, the gazelle tent up. I'm going to go to the Dollar 25 Century store, get some uh, tablecloths, um, black tablecloths. I'm gonna lay on the floor, then I'm gonna put my carpet on top of that so that when I take everything up, it will not be dirty and my things that I have in there will not be dirty. Um, I think I'm going to send this back. I'm gonna clean it off, take it down, clean it off, 
and I'm going to send it back uh, because that's a lot of work. That's, <laughs> that is a lot of work. And the reason why I say that is because when I got this last Monday, I told you guys that Amazon delivered it around six, six o'clock. I had 30 minutes of daylight. I had to have help to put it up and we basically put it up in the dock. And so I'm thinking, so I lost my train of thought there for a second. So a couple of days after I put this up, I wanted to see if I can put this up and take it down on my own because there are going to be times where I may not have someone helping me. So I think it was about three days ago, I decided that I was gonna take everything out of it, take this whole structure down and see if I can put it up by myself. And let me tell you guys, it was hard. It was hard. You almost need two people to put this up. It was so hard. It was one of those times where I thought, why in the heck did I do that once I got into it? It was so hard and for some reason, my mind went brain dead when it was time to put the canopy because I took it all down. I took the canopy down. I took the top, the, the top off the canopy as if I had just arrived at the campground. And I'm glad I did that now that it's all said and done because it gave me an idea of whether or not or how difficult or how easy it would be for a single person to put this type of tent up and it was it was hard it was hard it's a lot of trial and error of putting these little straps putting these little straps in the right place putting this uh the hooks on the inside in the right place so all in all what i'm saying is that i can't imagine myself having to go through all that trial and error of getting everything so squared off and everything so perfect making so that the floor on the inside would be flat and not have that hard crease in it i just can't imagine myself going through all of that each time i go to a campground and going through all of that taking that down as well after each campground visit so with that being said I am going to send the Easy Up Camping Cube back. I'm going to camp in my uh, gazelle tent here. It's just a much easier process, especially for a solo person, even a solo female person. This would be a better option for you to be able to put that together and take it apart on your own. I'm trying to think if there's anything else about this uh, Easy Up Camp that I discovered that I I either liked or disliked. Oh, another thing that just came to mind that I do not like about this Easy Up Camp, and I, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, the other thing that I do not like about this Easy Up Camping Cube is the zipper. I mean, if this whole side right here is not straight like that, so that that side won't have no stress on the whole zipper pattern, then it is going to be difficult each time for you to unzip it and zipping this up because let me lower you guys down some so I can show you what I'm talking about. Because this flap right here, it can interfere I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll try to show it to you guys when I zip in it up. It gets, it gets caught in the zipper every time if I don't move that flap out of the way. It get caught in that zipper and it stops the zipper from going up. This side right here is not, which means this pole right here has to be in the right position. These 
little Velcro straps right here have to have the right tension to them so that it don't squeeze this up and it will affect the zipper pattern. All right, guys, I have taken everything out of the tent. And see, see what I mean? Those hard wrinkles on the floor? That wasn't like that before the rainstorm and the wind. But because the wind was shifting the tent, the floor was shifting as well. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this out and then start taking it down. All right, guys, let's start taking this bad boy down. Oh boy. All right, guys, the only thing now that's connecting the tent is to the top of the canopy. Oh, me oh my. Can you imagine doing this every time you camp?
All right, guys, everything is taken down. I'll deal with that in a minute. I'm gonna start working on the gazebo. Ah, the gazelle tent. All right, guys, I got the gazebo. Just give it up, Anson. Just give it up. Call it whatever you want. I got the gazelle tent in place. Now, I just remembered that I do have a couple of the Dollar Tree tablecloths in my van. I'm gonna go get those and I'm gonna lay those out. Then I'll put my carpet on top of that. And then I can start putting things inside and organizing it. All right, I'm not gonna go all the way in because then I will not be able to film everything because I'll be too close. But I have my bed there. I managed to put my chair on that side. That's the floor space that I have. Still good height space. I have my table right there. My two refrigerators are, one is underneath the table and then the other one is on the side. My power stations are along that wall there. So all in all, like I said, it's a little more cozier than 
the easy up camping cube but I still like it I also went ahead and put all of my panels up I have some firewood along the base of the tent I have my chair out here and that's the way the opening of it look I put my lights put my lights all the way around they are multicolored I can have them flashing at night I put those all the way around Now the only downfall of the uh, tent here and the Easy Up tent is that when I take all my panels off, like if it's a really sunny day, all of my things are going to be exposed. Whereas the Easy Up, I could unzip in all the big windows and everything will be still like inside. But I don't care about that, you know. I just don't, you know, that doesn't matter to me. You know, of course I will put my panels up when I go to sleep at night so that, you know, I can get a better sleep and feel like I'm in a more enclosed area when I'm sleeping at night. And then I'll just take the panels off in the morning uh, if it's a nice day. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, you know that, and I'll see you guys the next time.